are talking about the Hitchhiker Massacre, a low budget slasher movie directed and written by James L. Bills. The story here is very slight. It essentially focuses uh, on this one girl who's deciding she's going to go do a bit of travelling with a kind of guitar and backpack and she is abducted by a, a strange guy who is kidnapping people and harvesting organs by, by kind of appointment basically. Um, so it really focuses on this character but we do have a variety of kind of peripheral characters uh, come in here and there, other victims and passerbys and stuff like that. So that's all I'll say on the plot. So let's talk about Hitchhiker Massacre. There's one big thing I will have to say about this film is that it's full of filler. I've rarely seen a film which seems to be so f full of just what I would describe as filler scenes to pad out the running time. It almost feels like that this movie was made and it wasn't long enough to be a feature so they just kind of added a bunch of scenes to kind of like pad out that running time. Um, you know, you're, there's this really unnecessary characterization of this passerby, this guy, uh, who, who kind of our female protagonist runs into. And there's a really awkward scene where this guy, you know, kind of like, he, this girl runs into this guy. And he's meant to be like a good guy. He's meant to be one of the, one of the kind of like, uh, you know, just happens to be parted by, he's not like a killer or anything. But he's so like overly touchy with her and it looks like it's improvised i've got to say and you know in today's you know with today's kind of environment he, he's he just watch this guy his hands are all over her and it just seems like about then maybe the actors may be trying to get a little bit too close to the to the female actors here um but it's, there's just so much dead space in this film there just seems to be so much kind of like uh, unnecessary lingering shots of someone driving and we kind of see a point of view or just like conversations that seem to drag on and on and on. There's very little story here. The film does try to have a little bit of a twist which I did appreciate but it kind of can't help the fact that there's really not a lot going on in this movie. Now in regards to the gore, here's an interesting thing. The gore, the effects for the most part are pretty low budget. This is a low budget film. But there is one scene which I would say looks particularly realistic. So realistic, I actually think they're cutting open a real carcass of maybe a pig or something and pulling out real guts. Because it looks real. I'm not going to lie, obviously, I don't think it's really a human, obviously. But uh, um, it looks like they've maybe got some kind of animal carcass and it's fairly close up shots. You can't really see. And they're pulling out bits and it looks like it's kind of real awful. So there is a pretty, uh, a pretty gruesome scene in this, but when we see other shots, uh, it looks relatively, you know, low budget and kind of like clearly fake blood and stuff coming out. I like the idea that this guy is not just some random slasher. He is a guy killing to order, and uh, he, he has he's clearly well, he's a psychopath. He has no empathy, um, but it's not he's not just a random guy picking up people. He's killing to order which I thought added uh, a, neat, uh, a neat kind of like spin on the genre maybe. And um, obviously it points to a kind of a, a wider kind of a conspiracy and a wider threat maybe, um, which I thought was quite interesting. The acting here, like I mentioned, feels like a lot of it's improvised because it just seems to kind of like meander a lot and it doesn't really, this can just kind of just go off on one. And there's actually quite a lot of repeated lines here. Um, I don't know, I think maybe the director should be a bit more uh, kind of like aware of this. Um, who knows, I think there's, there's very little in regards to people reading lines of a, from the script rather than kind of having a vague recollection of what the, the, the story should go and kind of saying their own stuff. But overall there's very little story here so I don't feel it's a particularly engaging film. It does have a couple of neat elements. Um, like I've said, and a couple of good ideas, and there is, like I said, if you require this, but it's one scene that's maybe worth watching. But overall, it's got to say, it's fairly unmemorable, although not a terrible uh, waste, you know, waste of your time, basically, if you could have liked a kind of slasher type movie. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.